Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a very um, interesting video here for you to for you guys. Um, uh, first of all, um, if you do enjoy the content that I make and you appreciate it, please do leave a like, comment, and please do smash that subscribe button. Um, and let's just get into it. You know, um, today's video I'm gonna talk to you guys about. Um, I took QBank's um, course, right? I took it, I was in the Wall Street Academy, and this, I mean, all I'm going to say is it's super valuable, it, it, it's, there's lots of information, absolutely loved it, um, and I've gained so much knowledge um, from it. So, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I now apply all the knowledge that I, that I learned from the course into my chart and how it helps me um, kind of predict and anticipate where the market and where which um, way the market has higher probability um, traveling to. Um, always, 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 always starting off to go with the line because lines shows a, a very clear idea of where the highest points are and, and the major support and resistance areas. So I go to the line, I go to the daily, I grab my horizontal lines and for for the horizontal line to be valid, it has to be a support, it has to be support and a resistance. For example, right here, if I drop it right here, we got a resistance and it, it reacted as a support here. So this is a valid horizontal line valid support and resistance then we go down we go down um this is support 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 there is no not really any um resistance so we just keep going until we find a point where it was support and resistance this right here um is very valid as you can see it works as resistance resistance it worked as a support here resistance support so yeah this is very valid um also have your horizontal lines colored code uh, colored coded for example my dailies are the red my four hours are my greens or, or orange um personal preferences really um this right here can be valid as you can see it were it it worked as a support and it was resistance resistance all the way over here we take it and we go down um oh, nah. this is just supposed to there's no resistance so we just go down this right here can be valid as it it was a uh, uh, resistance and then here as support so this makes it a valid horizontal line um this right here can also be valid um this right here can be valid right here and right here as well taking this go down this right here is mm, not so much but it is where a market really um oh, actually if we take it down to here because that makes more sense in my opinion it worked right here which is right here um and then we go down further down this right here worked as support worked as resistant so we drop on there as well and we just keep going we do have one um one here as well support support resistance a bit we just drop it down to here maybe that's more like it um, one here as well that's perfect and then maybe just one down um, right here see nothing too crazy all the major points swings high swing high and swing lows um, what I what I like to do is then drop back to the candles and as you see we have a very clean um, market structure over here we've be we, we got we were in a very consolidation 
period, we are looking at AUD USD, um, and then we saw a huge um, move to the downside. Um, then I like to go to the four hour chart, zoom out a little bit, and then, oh, just this back where it was. <laughs> And what do we have here? This right here is a very, very valid auto block. And it could be demand, a demand area. So that's very valid. Um, the highest point was up there. But we don't need to um, look at it that way. So after I do that, um, then I go back to the one hour, and on the one on the one hour is where I draw my trend lines and stuff like that. So on a on a on the one hour. If you look at this right here, take a trend line, drop one just across. Boom, we see that market structure has broken a trend line right there. Um, and now we might see a retest before a, a drop back down. Um, so this is really it for this AUD USD. It's very clean, nothing really, um, you know, nothing crazy about it. It's just been going up, up, up. Um, you always need to keep your chart as clean as possible. And then what I like to um, put on top of all of that is my indicators. The first one is pivots, trading, um, standard, I put that on, and then my three smooth moving averages, I put these on, and my ADX to show me momentum. So if we look very closely here, we can see that the pivot line matches with our daily support and resistance line. This is another confirmation that this line is a very strong line. We can see we broke beneath it, and then we might see a retest before. As you see, also our moving averages are starting to curve down, so we might see a bit of a, a rally to retest this line before a drop to the support one. So how this indicator works is, this pivot is pivot point is basically where the market could be changing um, direction. If it was going down, it could touch it and then go up, or if it if it was coming up, it could touch it and go down, or it could go either way, continue to go up or continue to go down. And the always support number one and resistance number one are always the strongest. But every time the the, the charts break one line, one support or one resistance. It, it gets weaker. So when it gets to um, this support number two, this support is weaker than support number one, and so on and so forth, and so forth. Um, and of course, my ADX um, is when um, the black line and the red line are above the 20 line, which means we are in a valid downtrend, um, very uh, bearish movement. And when the green and the black is over the 20, that's when, as you see right here, we were green and black over the 20, we were going up. And here we have a red crossing over with the black and we are seeing bearish movement. So I am short on this pair. I'm just waiting for something to do this, maybe something like that. Um, but yeah. This is what I have for you guys today. 
Um, I hope you like it. This is how I do my top not down analysis. I don't really have anything crazy. Um, I keep it very very simple. Um, you can and also you can use your Fibonacci to um, just to measure your counter trend. Nothing else. So we could potentially see a um, you know a retest before I, I drop back down. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do leave a comment if you have any questions or would like to see a specific pair. Um, and that is it for me today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.